my uh, my dog greeted me with an excess of enthusiasm yesterday morning. Uh, this is Mac Bogert back again with Serenity Pretzel. When I was a kid, I was kind of a science geek, and one of the things that I remember is what's called a sine wave. You know, we've all seen a sine wave. It's a curvy thing like that. And something that came to me during this bizarre time in which we're living is that, and other people have uh, verified this, is that sometimes this sort of crushing odd mood comes upon us, which, which doesn't apparently connect to any particular thing that just happened. It's like we're blindsided by some kind of a cosmic ray. And I think what helps me understand it is if you think of all the crap that's flying around now as sine waves, curvy waves, there's the election, there's the pandemic, there's um, Black Lives Matter and police issues, there's the climate, there's the, well, I mean, there's many, many things and they're pretty strong. Every once in a while, I believe those waves happen to sort of arrive at the same time and reach the same peak. I used to surf and I remember sitting out in the surf waiting for these odd, much larger waves that would just come randomly as far as I knew. So forgive yourself if there's some unexplained anxiety in your life from time to time. Give yourself permission to not be able to explain that because what I think that most likely is, is that these waves of disruption, of, of strangeness, of anxiety, of fear, of the unknown, happen to all just line up for a minute or even a few seconds. And the result is an emotion that is dark and negative, but is not identifiable. So let's forgive ourselves for not being able to always explain how we feel.